Hey, Steve here from photomasteryclub.com and in this video I'm going to show you a couple of quick techniques that you can use in Photoshop to add a bit of colour to an image that is otherwise quite dull. So, you know, this works best on like those dull cloudy mornings where there's just not much colour in the sky or evenings. Um, but, you know, there's there really has to be something in the sky for this to kind of uh, look um, you know, if we're going for something that could be deemed realistic, then you know there needs to be a bit of colour in, uh, a bit of cloud in the sky. Uh, so, with that in mind, I'll just run through and show you how to uh, how to add this colour in and how to achieve the effect. So, the first thing we need to do is add a gradient adjustment layer. Now, you could do the uh, same thing. You could achieve the same effect by adding a an empty layer and just using the gradient tool. But the reason I like this method is because you can adjust the color afterwards um, whereas with the gradient tool you'd have to keep recreating the gradient every time um, so for this example I'll just use the gradient uh, adjustment layer now with this little thing here we can adjust the angle of the gradient so we've got some sort of pale peachy color coming in from the top and it fades out as you go down to the bottom of the image. If you want to change the color here you can click on the gradient and then make sure you've got the, the second selection here which is basically foreground color to transparent and you would click on this first little stop here click the color and then just find a nice warm color that you want to add in. So it's already come with this uh, this sort of peachy color that I've had selected from whatever I was doing previous to this. So we'll keep that for now because that's not too bad of, a, of an effect. And I'll click OK. And the next part of this is just to pick a blend mode. Now there's a few different blend modes that can potentially work for this. Uh, multiply, overlay, soft light and color are the kind of main ones. I'll just run through the multiply. Like depending on which one you pick You'll then want to come and just reduce the opacity here um, of this layer just to blend it in and make it look less obvious that you've uh, just drawn a gradient in your image. Uh, so with this effect here, or with this multiply blend mode applied, an opacity of about 50% kind of backs it off and blends it in quite nicely and gives it a bit of a, uh, a sort of golden um, appearance. So you know that could could be realistic I mean you never know what happens with the Sun in the sky you know just creating that light um, across the across the landscape uh, so that's that's the first kind of thing that you can test out you know the the thing is you'll tend to uh, want to experiment with this there's no set format that you can definitely use every single time and um, so multiply is one of those options Overlay is another. Now overlay and soft light, they'll um, come with the added effect of introducing a bit of contrast. So if I put this back up to 100%, that's not a very good look at all. So if you use this, then you'll want to tone the opacity down even more, um, like so. But experiment, overlay soft light, that's another one. Soft light, you can sort of boost the opacity a bit more compared to um, overlay. And finally, color is another good one to try. And that's again one that you'll want to tone the, uh, the opacity down of this layer. So again, just adding a bit of a warm tone to the image. Now, I'll just show you the... Uh, I'll just put the opacity back up to something uh, a bit higher while I show you this next bit. Now this is the other advantage of using the adjustment layer over just drawing a gradient into the uh, into a new layer and doing the same thing. Uh, and that is that you can open this panel back up by double clicking on the uh, adjustment. Click back on the gradient and you can actually change the color that you've selected and instantly see the effect that it has on the image over here. So you know, depending on what effect you want to go for um, you know you can kind of test all of these different possible colors um, just without 
uh, without having to draw the gradient every time and pick the color every time. So, you know, just clicking around here. And by the way, um, you would want to have the uh, B selected here. If your color picker doesn't look quite like this, then you'll have this option selected. Uh, so we've got a couple of options here. We can go for like a cool blue tone by uh, by introducing that blue gradient, or we can go for a bit more of a sort of pinky, purpley kind of effect. Or we can stick back over here with those sort of more, slightly more natural, um, orangey golden colors. Uh, for now, let's uh, let's just leave it over here. I don't mind the blue. I think that looks okay. Maybe a little bit of purple in there. We can click OK about a hundred times and then just blend that back in there with the opacity. So just before and after on that, it kind of just switches it from having that bluish dull feel to having a bit of color in there. And it looks quite natural. So the second method that I want to show you is really just a modification of this, uh, which is to instead of using the uh, gradient uh, let me pick this image was it this one or this one no that's for another video um so let's pick this image and instead of using the gradient we'll just pick a solid color adjustment layer and let's just stick with that same orangey color and instead of being a gradient now it's uh, just giving us that solid color all the way through the image and again we can choose multiply doesn't look very good until we start reducing the opacity. Multiply, overlay, soft light, and color. Now for this image, I think a more sort of, let's see if we can get a bit of a reddish purpley uh, tint to that. Uh, to that uh, light coming in okay all right I'll click OK on that let's maybe try overlay okay and there we go we can see we just added a bit of a, a bit of a twilight color similar to a sim uh, a recent video that I posted. Um, but I guess just a different way to uh, to create that effect. And yeah, I think we'll leave it there. So there we go. There's two ways that you can increase or add color into an image uh, that hasn't really got any um, using some simple adjustment layers so that you can make your images a bit more interesting and a bit more colorful. So. Thanks for watching. If you uh, would like to download my six stage Photoshop workflow so that you can take these techniques and slot them into uh, a tested six stage workflow uh, that you can use to, uh, to get real consistency in your processing, then there'll be a button or a link just below this video where you can go off to do that. Uh, you can download that PDF and that'll, uh, that'll give you all six stages of the workflow and basically give you the skeleton that you can uh, add the meat and uh, everything to to uh, to really pad out your workflow and give yourself something that you can rely on every time for consistently good looking uh, images so thanks again for watching and I will speak to you soon